Hi friends, here is another problem of solving equations that involve absolute functions. Here, there is an absolute function and within that x square plus 4x plus 3 is there plus 2x plus 5. Now, whatever is there within the absolute function, what does that mean? When this thing is greater than 0, absolute function of this is this. When this thing is whatever is there within absolute function, if it is less than 0, absolute value of this is minus of this. For example, absolute value of 2 is 2. right? And absolute value of minus 2 is minus of minus 2, which is again plus 2. Right. So, absolute value of this when it is negative, absolute value of x when x is less than 0 is minus x. Right. So, what we will do, first let us find out where this equation is positive or negative, whatever this one, x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then split this entire equation into two parts, where this is positive, then what will happen, where this is negative, then what will happen. Okay. So, x squared plus 4x plus 3, what we can write it? We can write it as x square plus 3x plus x plus 3, right? That means x into x plus 3, x plus 3 plus 1 into x plus 3, which means x plus 1 into x plus 3, x plus 3 equals 0. So, what are the roots? Minus 1 and minus 3, minus 1 and minus 3. The graph of this equation will look like this. This is the parabola. Right, all quadratic equations are parabolas. Okay, clearly x plus 1 into x plus 3. Right, when x is greater than or equal to minus 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 3, this equation is positive. When x is greater than or equal to minus 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 3. Okay, then when x is less than or equal to minus 3, what does that mean? This is also negative. This is also negative. Right. So, for example, minus 4 plus 3 is negative, minus 4 plus 1 is also negative. So, the product is positive. Similarly, when x is greater than minus 1, greater than minus 1. So, for example, 0. 0 plus 1 is positive, 0 plus 3 is also positive. Okay. Whatever is the right side of minus 1, that is like all positive. Whatever is the left side of minus 3, that is all positive. That is what we are saying. Now, when this, when the equation is positive, when this, this thing is positive, obviously, mod of, of absolute function of this is equal to this only. Absolute value of 2 is 2. Absolute value of minus 2 is minus of minus 2, which is equal to 2, right? Absolute value of a negative number is minus of that negative number, okay? So, now, x squared plus 4x plus 3, this thing, in this case, case 1 will become x squared plus 4x plus 3 plus 2x plus 5. What is this? 4x plus 2 is 6x, 3 plus 5, 8, x squared plus 6x plus 8. We can write this as x plus 4 into x plus 2. Okay, what does this mean? x equals minus 4 or minus 2. But minus 2 is not to the left of minus 3. Minus 2 is here. So, we cannot take this. Okay, minus 4 is fine. Minus 4 is to the left of minus 3. Okay, minus 4 is x less than or equal to minus 3. So, that should be fine. Now, what is the other case when this thing is less than 0? x squared plus 4x plus 3 is less than 0. When is that? When x is lying between minus 3 and minus 1. Between this part, minus 3 to minus 1, this equation, this equation is negative. What does that mean? Absolute value of this is minus of this, which is minus of x squared plus 4x plus 3, which is equal to minus x squared minus 4x minus 3 plus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. If you simplify this, it will become x squared plus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Okay, this is again a quadratic equation. What are the roots? Minus b plus or minus under root b squared minus 4ac. 4, 4 minus 4 times minus 2, which is 8. 4 plus 8, 12 by 2 minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 by 2, which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 3. Okay. These are the two roots. Now, again, these two roots should lie between between minus 3 to minus 1. Okay. So, what is this one? one. This is 1.7 roughly. 1.7 minus 1. This is roughly 0.7 and this is not lying between minus 3 to minus 1. So, this thing is 1. What about this one? Minus 1 minus 
minus 1.7, which is roughly minus 2.7, which is lying between this and this, three minus 3 and minus 1. So this root is valid. So here minus 4 is valid. Here minus 1 minus root 3 is valid. So we have two solutions or two values of x that will solve this equation. Right, guys. Very simple problem. Only thing we should be careful in these cases, wherever absolute function is there, whatever value is there within absolute function, when that changes from negative to positive, when is that positive or when is that negative, accordingly, we can break such equations into two equations, su such equation into two equations or three equations, two equations, three equations, depending on, depending on when this thing is positive or negative. Right, guys. Hope you like this. Thank you.